Hi guys, in this video we are going to check how you can create a multiplayer chat system with the new netcode for GameObjects networking. The players will be able to send messages which can be seen by everyone. In later videos I will share how you can also create chat rooms and private messages. Our main game object is the lobby chat. Since we want to send and receive netcode messages on this object, we have to add a network object script. Also, there is a lobby chat behavior component here and it will control the system. The message parent is a parent transform inside the scroll view, which will hold all the text messages. The text message itself is basically nothing more than a UI text and an attached chat message script. It has a setter function which sets the text. Also, we have a resizable UI script which simply makes it possible to scale up and down the chat window. Now let's check the most important part of today's video, the chat behavior script. Now in the update method we check if the user presses an enter key and if the input field is not empty we will send a message, otherwise we will activate and focus on the input field. To avoid constant message spamming, I added this minimum interval between chat messages variable. So for example, if it is set to 2, then you can only send one chat message in every 2 seconds. The send message method just gets the text as a string from the input field and after some small validations it calls a server RPC with the message and the local client ID. A server RPC is a remote call which can be invoked by a client and it will be received and executed only on the host. Now on the other hand, a client RPC is a remote call which is invoked by the server or host and it is received and executed on the connected clients. So what happens here is very simple. The client calls the server RPC with the message and when the host receives it, it will be immediately sent towards all the clients with the receive chat message client RPC method. Here, the client calls the add message function, which will instantiate a new message and sets its text. Also, we are capping the maximum number of messages inside the window, so when there are too many chat messages, we will simply delete the latest one. Now that's all for today's video, but stay tuned because there are going to be a second part where I will show you how you can add chat rooms and private messages.